The way that a data is returned from a function is different depending on whether this function was called internally or whether this function was called externally. It also depends on the type of data that is returned. If this function was called by another external contract or a EOA, then the data that is returned is ABI encoded. If the function is called internally, the story is different. And it also depends on the data type that is returned. Let's say that a function is called internally and the return type doesn't have this memory keyword. In this case, the data will be returned on the stack. However, when there's this memory keyword, the data is not stored in the stack. On the stack, a pointer to a memory where the actual data is stored is returned. Let's see some examples. For a simple example, let's say that we have an internal function that returns a value. In this example, we'll return uint256 having the values 0x, ab, ab, ab. And notice that the data that is returned doesn't have any keyword memory. Here, we're just returning a value. And then let's also say that we have another function that calls into this internal function. The internal function will return at uint256. The way this data uint256 will be returned is the data 0x, ab, ab, ab will be stored in the top of the stack. To see this, let's compile a contract and deploy and then call the function test bell. So compile the contract, deploy, and then I'll call the function test bell. And then we'll click on the debugger. Inside the debugger, I'll first try to locate where this part of the code is executed, where the internal function returns the value 0x, ab, ab, ab. Okay, here it is. And I know this because if I step back, the part that is highlighted is the part that says return uint 256 0x ab ab ab. So in the next step, the value is returned. And let's now see where this value 0x ab 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 is stored. I'm gonna scroll down and under the stack, you can notice that at the top of the stack, we have the values 0x ab ab ab. In other words, for value types, the value that is being returned inside the internal function is stored into the stack. Next, let's look at another example. Let's say that we have an internal function, and this time, instead of returning a value type, we'll return a data type that has a keyword memory. In this example, we'll return a dynamic array of type bytes32. So inside this function, I initialize a dynamic array of type bytes32, having the length 3, and storing the elements AAA, BBB, and CCC. Next, I have another function, a public function called testmem, and inside this function, we'll call the internal function that returns a data type of type memory. So what this function is going to do, it's going to call this internal function that's going to return a dynamic array of type bytes32. In the case of when a function returns a value, the value was returned on the stack. How about when the data type to be returned has a keyword called memory? Where would this data be stored? Is it going to be stored on the stack or is it going to be stored somewhere in memory? The answer is, the pointer to where this data is stored in memory will be returned onto the stack. So to see this, let's compile a contract again and then execute the function test mem. I'll deploy the contract again. And then we'll call the function test mem. And then open the debugger. And then inside the debugger, I'll navigate to the point where this internal function returns the dynamic array. Okay, here it is, and to double check this, I'm gonna go one step back. And notice that the cursor move over to this position where it returns the dynamic array from the internal function. This is where we want to be. And at this step, let's examine the stack and the memory to figure out where this dynamic array is stored. Let's first take a look at the stack. Scrolling down, on the top of the stack, we had the value 0x80. So this is the pointer to the memory where this dynamic array is stored. So let's check the memory location at 0x80. At 0x80, this should be the beginning of where the dynamic array is stored. The first value that is stored is the length of this dynamic array, three. And the next value is the dynamic array elements. For the zeroth element, we stored AAA, which we see over here. The next element stores BBB, and the last element stores CCC. To summarize, when an internal function is called and it returns some kind of value, if the value that is returned does not have a memory keyword, then it is returned onto the stack. The example that we saw was when the value 0x ab 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 was returned. We looked at another example where the internal function returned a dynamic array. This dynamic array has a keyword memory. In this case, the pointer to where this data is stored in memory was returned onto the stack.